Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode of Fleck, I mean showcasing my units in Anime Adventures. Anime Adventures is an anime tower defense game in which you summon on banners to get special units and you even have a chance of getting them shiny, which is basically an alternate version. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at All Force also known as All Might. This particular All Might is actually level 70, shiny and has the divine trait, which is one of the best traits in the game, except for maybe unique. It's kind of personal preference. I really like divine more. Some people really like unique more. Anyway, let's take a look at this awesome, awesome unit. Here we are in the lobby and if we go to units, here we have All Force, Symbol of Peace. Uh, he does a bit of damage, we're gonna equip him to show him how he looks in the lobby. Here he is in the lobby, I really like his shiny design. I love the fact that they took the powerless All Might as a shiny, I was really hoping they would do it. And they actually did it. He, has, uh, he looks absolutely amazing. I love the fact that it's not just like a simple hat or something. It's actually something canon from the show. Which I think all shinies are. Which is absolutely amazing. He just walks and you know does stuff like any other unit. But he looks really really cool. And I really love the divine particles that he has. I think it's really really awesome. So here we are in Namek Infinite. I thought I'd just pick this stage because for one, the colors are really bright. And uh, let's place him down. We got enough cash. He, uh, he costs the same like a normal All Might, 1,300. I'm going to place him right over here. And here he is. He spawns with some pretty decent damage for uh, the first upgrade. And boom, he absolutely obliterates them. I love his animations. He's standing proud. Another one is coming his way. And, well, I mean, it's not really impressive the fact that he one-shots them. Because, once again, it's a Namek Infinite. But still, he does a ton of damage, which is really, really fun. I'm actually, I'm not sure how far we can get with only All Might. But, of course, we also need to upgrade him. So, the first upgrade... Goes from 430 to 1100, which is really, really nice. Of course, he doesn't get a new attack just yet. For the second upgrade, we're going to push him all the way up to 1700. That's already some really nice damage. There we go. Upgraded. And now we need some more money. It's, it's expensive to level them up. But once they're up there, they are definitely up there. Like, I think All Might really starts to shine when his attacks change. It's like the first few attacks... I mean, they aren't really anything special, but at the later stages, he actually becomes pretty wild, in my opinion. So, we can actually do another update. This time, we push him up from 2,500 to around 3,000, which isn't that big of a jump, but he actually gets a new skill. California Smash, which in my opinion has a really cool animation. He also gets a bit more range. So let's upgrade him, there we go, he has his new attack and he does a cool swirl and boom, he hits them full on and just does massive AoE damage. It, I really, really enjoy how this looks, but it's nothing compared to his final, final skill and I can't wait till we get there. And yuppie, yuppie, we got enough cash for another upgrade. This time from 3000 to around 3500. Once again, not the biggest jump ever, but his cooldown gets a bit lower. And he gets like two studs of range, which doesn't sound that much, but it, it's pretty okay actually. So let's upgrade and boom. And uh, yeah, now we need 8000, so let's grind for that 8000. The first boss has actually arrived before we could get the 8,000 cash. And I'm actually wondering, like, let's see at its damage. He shouldn't be able to one-shot it, but will he kill it? I think he will pretty easily. I'm not going to upgrade him to 8,000 until the boss has passed. I am pretty excited to see if he can actually, you know, 
kill it within his range. I am pretty certain that he can, but you know, let's just let's just check it out because why not? He should almost be in range, and that was the first hit. Almost half of its HP gone in an instant. And uh, yes, with how slow the boss is running, he will definitely be destroyed by All Might. And just one more hit and he's gone. All the enemies fly away and he is down. So now we can finally upgrade him from 3500 damage to 5000 with two more studs of range. Unfortunately, not a lower cooldown, but let's upgrade him. Boom! And as you can see, next upgrade, he finally gets the new move. He gets a ton more damage, uh, a longer cooldown, which generally is more bad, but it gets traded for a bigger range. So let's upgrade him and let's see how this looks. Bam! He has his own sound effect and he does massive, massive damage. Wow, it's actually insane how much damage this single unit does. I, I was really surprised the first time that I saw this. We can also upgrade him to the max now. He doesn't get more range, he doesn't get less cooldown. But he does 12.9k damage. Let's upgrade him, boom. So... Those are the stats of an All Might maxed with Divine. Uh, of course, we can also upgrade him with Erwin. So let's see how much damage he does in that case. So let's boop, boop, boop. And we don't have enough money. Oh, wait, wait a second, wait a second. So we got enough money. As we can see, All Might's damage now is 12.9k. And when we damage boost, we go all the way to a beautiful 16.2 thousand damage per hit and that's not the best part because every time he hits an enemy it actually knocks them back it's a bit difficult to see since he one shots everything on this map but trust me it's amazing they go back a little bit it's kind of like a time stop but worse i have to say but worse Time stop, in my opinion, is still better, but still, it's it, like the enemies move back, which gives you more opportunity to hit them. And honestly, that's always good, that's always great. I wouldn't really say All Might is your main DPS. I think he would rather be more of a supportive character, but I think he's still really cool to play and really fun to play with. And honestly, I think that's pretty much all I can show about this really awesome level 70 Divine Shiny All Might. It's actually the first shiny mythic that I pulled, so he holds a very special place to my heart. And I'm just so happy to bring him along in my adventures. I think his knockback ability is really, really fun. And I think he has some great, great animations. But yeah guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next Shiny Mythic review. Until next time, bye bye And why was that guy there, dude? That's so annoying. You ruined my entire outro. God damn it.